Hi there, it's Matthew Hussey here from gettheguy.co.uk. I hope you're well. Today I want to talk about how to flirt with men. Now, I'm going to talk about the first phase of this, which is really physiological. It's in your body, it's in your eyes, it's in the way you touch people. So I'm going to run through some quick tips that you can use that to do with before you've even started talking to a guy or as you're starting to talk to him. So, firstly, eye contact. I know this is kind of an obvious one, but most people don't even get the basics right. So when you look at a guy, especially if it's from a distance, you want to first communicate that, you know what, I'm looking at you. But remember, guys don't recognize those signals as easily as women do. So you want to make sure that in that moment he gets that confirmation. He gets something that says, you know what, I am definitely looking at you. And when you look at a guy the second time, don't be afraid to be a little bit cheekier with your smile or have, you know, have that look that says maybe you've been caught out. You know, something like that. It's really sexy, it's really playful and, and it gets a guy turned on immediately from a distance. Now, when you're up close with a guy and you're talking to him, you're about to talk to him, make sure that you're getting in a lot of touch. Now, I know this sounds kind of strange at first, but we're not talking about seductive touch or anything like that, just playful touching. So even when you make a point to someone, touching their shoulder or their arm, or even if a guy's next to you and you want to move him out of the way so that you can get somewhere, you know, move him with his arm or the inside of his body. Just, you know, you, what you're going to do is immediately get that physical connection with someone where they go, oh, wow, <laughs> you know, they, oh, this person exists. So touch is really important early on, and it also builds a lot of comfort early on so that you're not worrying about it later. And the last point is your voice. When we start talking to people, often if we're nervous, we tend to go either quiet or monotone. And so we never really communicate how interesting we can be. And also we tend to speed up and go really, really fast. Don't be afraid to pause, relax, slow down, and let your voice fluctuate a little bit. You know, if you want to speed up and say something in that way, then that's fine if you really want to communicate something. But if you want to slow down and be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more chilled out, then do that. But you can communicate so much through your voice, so much playfulness and fun. Most people don't because they get nervous and they think that they have to keep it in this neutral place all the time. So take care, have fun with those. Let me know how you get on and I'll speak to you very soon. For more tips like that, go to gettheguy.co.uk. Take care.